Hey, Mike, it's Bree. So I wanted to go over a couple of things here, some of the services that we offer and just some general information, and then we can kind of talk about what you are or aren't looking for. So to start, I went ahead and Googled landscaping company Ellington CT. Um, I know you offer obviously a, a couple services here, but just starting with landscaping. So this is called the map pack. And the top three listed here are the ones that receive a lot of the work because they're super easy to find and they're listed right away. The way you can get yourself into these top three is by one, having one. So having a Google business profile, two, filling it out as much as possible, name, hours, phone number, um, photos, like everything, filling out everything. And then three, putting your name, address, and phone number into as many online directories as possible. And these directories are things like Yelp or Yellow Pages. Having your information in those online directories are really going to help power the profile. Uh, the websites listed below here, these are called the organics. The same things apply. You want to be on the front page and ideally within these top three so that people can find you. The first one is Yelp, and I really don't care about them. But the second one is Green Meadow Lawn Care, and it looks like they're a local company. So let's take a look at their site. Alrighty. Um, really not a whole lot on their site here. So the main thing you would want to do with your site is you'd want to have about 1,500 words on there. And this is for a few reasons. The first reason being is that if your competitors had about 1,000 words, then you're gonna to wanna to have about 1,500 words or so on. You wanna beat out how much content your competitor has. The second reason being is that Google has these crawlers. They go through, they read the content of the website, and they try and figure out what services you offer, what areas you serve. The more content you have on there, the more of an expert you're gonna look like in their eyes. Now, in that content, we wanna have keywords, and keywords are the things that people are searching for. So, for example, how we just Googled landscaping company Ellington, if you had landscaping company Ellington all over your website, you're going to be really relevant for that search, and Google's going to be willing to put you higher up at the top. So when you do your website, it's really important to make sure you have enough content on there, the keywords in there, and that's going to really help your website rank. If we take a look at why this website's ranking, this is a paid program I use to research websites called Arifs. I went ahead and put them into here so we can see what you're up against. The second thing I wanna go over is the UR and DR ratings as these ratings are really important for where you fall within the Google search results. A UR rating is essentially a trust rating with Google and a DR rating is essentially a power rating with Google. And so these numbers are kind of looking at the overall site, how powerful it is, how trustworthy it is, and the higher up they are, the, the more powerful your site is and the better you're going to rank in the search results. One of the ways that you can increase these numbers is through a thing called a backlink. And all a backlink really is, is just a shout out from another website. So if there's another website that is endorsing you and they're sending a link back to your site, so there's a clickable button back to you, that's a backlink. Um, and so we can actually click on the ones they have, go through those ones and obtain those for your website and then get additional ones as well. Lastly, and most importantly, I wanna talk about the organic keywords. These are the keywords within the content that I was talking about before. For example, Lawn Care Connecticut. There's approximately 200 people who Google this per month. Lawn Care CT. There's another approximately 200 people who Google this per month. Uh, I'm not sure if you do fertilization. So lawn fertilization CT, approximately 50 a month. Uh, tick control, I'm not sure if you do that either. Lawn care in CT, another approximately 200. Lawn service Connecticut, 150. Just to name a few, obviously there's ones for specific towns. You have other services such as plowing, et cetera and trees so this is just like a snapshot of what it looks like for the lawn care side of things but it's really important to get in front of these people if you're able to get in front of more people that are searching for these terms 
the more people that are going to find you, the more people that are going to call you, and in turn, the more clients you're going to land. So I hope that this was helpful, and I look forward to discussing it with you further. Take care.